The landscapes of our lives are for learning, where experience is our teacher. When we gather together to share our resources, we are destined to love and thrive. I thought we thought it would. Hello, Pierre. I can edit that out. It's okay. <laughs> I was talking over the intro. Uh, we're doing a learning practice, and Maureen's got the word for us today. Yeah, I told you I'm going on my verb spiel instead of nouns. Okay. So um, I'm going to say pushing. Pushing. Push, push, push. <laughs> this is what the guys in the um, Formula One control booth tell people, the drivers, when they're supposed to speed up. Push, push, push. Oh, are they Italian? <laughs> is that why you have Well, they're French an and Italian. There are all kinds of... It, you know, it's basically an EU sport, but there's so many good memes around it. Oh, my God. Do you watch the show? Do you watch that show, the Formula, Formula One? Formula One? Oh, my God. It's just, A, the Netflix Formula One series is fantastic, which explains the sport, which is the reason why I was able to get into it, because it's a complex um, interaction of the the team, the strategy, the technology, the vehicle and then the driver it's it's so much more uh dynamic in the course of a race and how those different um features the 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 team technology and the driver come together um then then you know pretty much any other sport that i can think pushing of. the limits pushing the limits as a team like the well-oiled machine working together and then a car pushing the limits of like, yeah. the, let me, the, let me just, tell, let me just, I'm going to, I'm going to turn it over to you, but I'm going to tell you there's one little story about, um, about Senna. Um, he passed away a number of years ago um, through, through a crash, but he's reputed to be one of the best drivers. He's coming back in the field and he's driving his F1 car and um, he's, 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 he's gaining and gaining and um, he comes around and he clips the he clips the wall, um, and spins out and he and he doesn't win the race. He comes back. He's complaining to his race engineer. Ah, oh, jeez, all right, you ain't mean. They're discussing. He goes, the wall must have moved. <laughs> and um, you know these guys have amazing egos. And so the race engineer goes, uh, yeah, yeah. Um, Sure, sure. Um, and so, you know, he's just going around kicking himself. And then after the race is over, he goes, no, nah, no, nah, the wall moved. You come with me. And um, the race engineer is the guy telling this story after, you know, it was years after his death. And um, he goes, yeah, the wall moved. Because of the five. vibration? No, five millimeters. The engineer estimated that the wall moved five millimeters because it, they're they're segmented walls. Yeah, I had clipped the wall, and the little segment pulled oh, out. Okay. And if you see some of these pictures of how close these guys at two hundred, yeah, yeah, and yeah. one hundred twenty miles it's, an hour, come, it's insane. Yeah, they go around. They go around about fifty-seven times. Talk about push, push, push. They go Did around. The timer go off. <laughs> no, around fifty-seven. I'm speaking so fast because I see the timer winding down. They go around 57 times. It's like 90 seconds a time around the track. They, they they have these they have these videos that um the guy the guy is in in the simulator and he's driving the track with his eyes closed and his eyes are closed and he's driving and you see the simulator and he's actually not hitting things. It's unfucking believable. Oh, excuse me. Okay, your turn. <laughs> you have nine seconds. <laughs> Push, push, push. You're just pushing me right out of this conversation. <laughs> it's all good. I love it. Okay. Till next time. Until next time. Mm -hmm.